Hello oh, you do subscribers and viewers, welcome to another video today, we will be playing tabs once again. Pretty much, this is the outcome of the last battle. The last battle was where the Americans lost. And so, if they lost, it was going to go to this. The Americans used most of their soldiers in the, uh, in the defense of the bridge in hopes that it would help. They left some soldiers to defend the town just in case. The Americans were... As you probably know, killed and destroyed, or not destroyed, but killed, by the Soviets and Germans. So they're using the last bit of their men here to put up a last stand. As you can see, I can't hit the pause button fast enough, so one of them already took a shot. But right now, we have an RPG unit after that army of Americans. Ignore that black smoke, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, we have Americans here. As you can see, there's not many of them over here. You have a few of them right here, defending with hopefully a little bit of cover. Over here you see a giant army of German soldiers. You got some Car 98s, MPs, more Car 98s, two machine gunners, two uh, Panzer Treks, and two medics, as well as two grenade throwers. These are paratroopers, which I'm about to explain. Pretty much, since the Americans, they can't get troops there fast enough, so they, have, they sent some Americans, the Americans who are trying to get the, the American forces, a general sent paratroopers in, which are these guys. As you can see, I think I gave them goggles, yet you can see by their goggles. They have paratroopers to go pretty much, I gave them the uh, effect where they can just sneak up behind people. I think it's the assassin effect where they can just go behind people because it's meant to be like, oh, they parachuted behind enemy lines because that's the closest you can get. So they have some parachute troops or paratroopers, as if whichever you want to call them. This guy's a little taller than the rest. This soldier, as you can see, they are not in perfect ranks. They weren't really anticipating this attack since there was no survivors from the last one. All of a sudden, they just the bazooka trooper kind of just saw them, so they're kind of scrambled right now. Not in formation, so they're in formation, but not like Thompson or then M1 Garands. They only have like a few medics and one two bazooka troops so yeah and over here is the soviets there's some backup with some 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 machine guns with some Mosin rifles that's what i'm just going to call them even though they're technically car 98s and they have one medic so luckily for these guys no bazookas or machine guns from the soviets let's see this battle over here with the paratroopers oh gosh oh bullets just Bullets flying everywhere. They're just... Bullets are going up there. Okay. Bullets just... Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, what? Oh. The grenade threw, threw his grenades here in hopes to kill the Americans. Oh, shoot. These guys actually might win this now. I didn't think of that. The grenade throwers on the Nazi side, slash German side, just threw a grenade. To try and kill the Americans. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, the commander already called an artillery strike on the Soviets. Anyone want to bet that Soviets survived? I'm betting that they all died. Place your bets now, people. But the Nazis got their rockets on the bridge. Effectively taking out most of the American sold art like the American army. And the commander is dead. Right here, you can see his lifeless body. One of the soldiers, I'm pretty sure that's a medic. I don't know. One of the soldiers tried to shield the commander, but explosions do much more damage than one person can save someone from. Or at least artillery can. I'm wondering if this guy already shot his bazooka or not, or if they're just not in range. Okay. This was, I was not expecting, honestly. Like, I was hoping that the Americans would win just by like a small bit of luck. But honestly, I didn't think about the grenades. Or the bazookas, I mean, or the Panzer Shreks. I didn't think of any of that. That that really caused a lot. Oh. Why are you guys shooting over here? Oh, I was about to say, why are they shooting over there? Okay, 
terrible aim. Come on, man. This isn't even a part of the part of the war where you're like 18 or 17. Like near the end of the war, they started make, forcing children to fight. But like, dude, you're not like, like, dude. This is not the end of the war. You're not 15 or 16. You have good training. You should be able to hit your shots. This man is just standing here. You know you're a soldier and you have a war to win, right? I get that there's a bazooka trooper up there, but. Come on, man. I think he's paralyzed with fear. He's in shell shock. Okay, I think he just glitched right here. Okay, there. There we go. I, I had to help him out of shell shock. He was, he was having flashbacks. He had flashbacks of the war, even though there was really only the main war before this was World War One, I'm pretty sure. So that wouldn't make sense. His, his grandpa told him, or his great-grandpa, I don't know. His grandpa or great-grandpa told him of World War One, and now he's having flashbacks. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, the Germans have a sniper on their team. Pretty sure he took out two Americans. Dude, you, you know you can move, right? Like, come on, man. Move a little bit. Come on. Start moving. Oh, that wasn't even me. Dude, okay. Is this man really going to take out, single-handedly, going to take out the American military? Bro is taking out the military. Sir, you're not... You're not the white feather, he's American. You're not, you're not the white death either. You're Soviet. Who are you? I don't know any, I don't know any famous German snipers of World War II. The white feather was from the Vietnam War and the white death was in the Soviet versus um, Finland War. Okay, that's it, I'm taking control of this man. Cross the bridge, cross it, oh my gosh. Are you really not gonna cross this bridge? This man? Okay. I'm, I'm possessing. Okay, sir, you are not gonna use your banner anymore. Yep, let, let your people go. Your soldiers. There. Okay, only medics were cooking out. Okay. Go! Oh, I missed it because I was trying to get these people to move. This dude, if I would not have intervened and let these guys move, he would have single-handedly taken out the entire American army, almost single-handedly, like the rest of their troops. Like, bro took out half the people over here. I was looking for that, that was kind of my fault because I moved him forward in hopes that he'd move. Most of the people over here, not, like, this is me talking to him. I'm the, you weren't supposed to do that meme right now. He was not supposed to go on and become John Wick. He was not supposed to become the German John Wick. Wait, is John Wick German, actually? I don't know if John Wick is German. Well, anyways, that's the end of this video. So, yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Stay safe.